do some hacking on this camper today. We got a Grand Design 2400 BH. We are going to make these cabinet areas under the bench way more useful. Gotta get down here, accessing that. I'm assuming it isn't that great, I don't know. We haven't used it yet, so that's what we're gonna do. We're going to build some drawers that will go in each one of these. It'll be three feet long, so we'll be able to extend the whole way out. Let's do it. Let's see what we're working with here. All right, I went ahead and ordered these three foot heavy duty slides off Amazon. They ran about Oh, I don't remember, 60 bucks a pair or something like that. I'll link them in the description. I'm sure my quote, uh, I just, or the price I just quoted you will be wrong, but hey, whatever. We got some one by six pine to build the slides out of, or the sides out of. And I had some scrap half inch plywood to make the bottoms out of. They're three feet, so we want them to be pretty stout. And I'm rocking the crappy Ryobi here. Lots of use and abuse, but we'll get this done. Here's my sketching. Went ahead and measured all the openings. So the drawer is gonna be the five and a half inches high. And you can see my slides are three quarter inch thick. And you gotta shim it out a little bit to get it past the opening of the drawer front. So, It'll be uh, three foot long sides, 15 inch wide interiors between them. Let's cut some stuff up. Got our groove cut, slide our bottom board in. So I'll take my chisel, just pop this, pop that out like this. Like so, and we'll test fit a piece down here. All as well. Chop the sides off. Here's our test fit piece. You can see nice and snug. I'm not going to glue this in. I want it to be able to expand a little bit as these trailers experience different temperatures, humidity, etc. So this is looking good. Just a pro tip. And all you woodworkers will say, hey man, just use a dado. Don't have to do the four or five passes like I just did. But I'm only ripping these three boards. It was only like three or four passes. It took me, I don't know, 10 minutes. And a few minutes to pop out the wood. Save yourself the $50, $60 dado blade. Also, this is not a uh, safety course training and using a table saw. So don't do anything I just did. Wear glasses, use a push stick, use a cover guard, you know, all the cool stuff.
Moving on, got my trusty little Craig jig. I got the little handheld version versus the table clamp. I think it works better for doing big cabinet boxes, things like that. Go ahead, show you here, doing a little test piece. So the, the Craig jig puts a nice little angle screw in there. You can just screw straight through the sides, but let's make it more complicated than it needs to be, shall we? I'm using the quarter inch, inch and a quarter rather, screws. You can see they're wide thread. Use a wide thread for soft woods. Grips the wood and pull out as, as easy. Uh, the fine thread stuff used for harder woods like maple and oak. So we've got nice pocket screw in there. Let's take one of these guys. Goes down the hole like that. Gets it all locked together. No screws visible. You can actually put an insert in there, glue it, sand it off, never see the screw, but I'm not gonna mess with that for this. Here, so I'm going to take the door off and screw it to the door from the back and then when you pull out the slide you won't see any screws. Getting some slides on. So I got, got ones that separate. <clears throat> if you look on there, look on Amazon or wherever, they have cheaper ones that don't separate. I don't know why you wouldn't get ones that don't, but uh, these ones do. They also lock shut. Wanted to keep that, obviously, to help resist the drawers from coming out open. I'm also going to keep the latch. So what I do, I already got the bottom one on. Measure up three quarters of an inch. Make a little mark here. Take this out, get her nice and flush with the front of the drawer, and then put the screws in. I'm using these three quarter inch number eight screws. Put about six or seven in them down there. And then we'll get them out there and see how they go. Here's where we're at. Got my slides rough fit. You can see everything's uh, looking pretty good here. Measurements are within a sixteenth of an inch, luckily. A little wiggle room. All right, so what I'm gonna do, you can see that needs furred out here. I'll see this side. You can see there's a gap in there. So I got some one by scrap. I'm going to cut it to the length and I'm going to screw it back there and on these intermediates down there. Also, they had a cover. That's right, right there. They had a cover covering up these electrical connections. And I just took that off so it can fit. And um, after I get the slides on, I'll probably I cut it and put it back on there just above the slide so 
uh, or I may just leave them with a the drawer there sliding in and out should be okay but I'll put the cover back on I guess to make sure nothing snags it if it's sticking up or moves in transit so I'm gonna go ahead and get these sides on and take these drawers back apart screw them up put the drawer in okay this was the hardest part got it shimmed out so of course it's not the same this one worked out to be a three quarter and a half inch stick out even with that this other one was three quarters less than a half it's about a quarter inch so i use composite shims to fur it out and get it short there's that electrical kind of showed you and this is a two-person job so i have someone helping addison all right let's get the drawer slide in Okay, let's see how it works. Can we open the drawer? No, over there. Pull it all the way out. Keep going. There we go. So I went ahead and installed the stop back on it. Put it right there. And the drawers also have a self-locking mechanism as well. So I probably didn't need to put that back on, but oh well. All right, Addison, I want to close it. You can see how big it is. Are you going to put something in it? Here we go. Now can we go? Now what do you want to do? Look at my surprise. Go ride your bike? Okay. <laughs>